بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز وی آر وی آر ہیونگ اے لک ایٹ دا سیکنڈ لرننگ پیتھ ماڈل دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی ول کنٹینیو آر ڈسکشن آن دا ٹاپک کریٹ کیلکولیٹڈ ٹیبلس ان دا پریویس پارٹ آف دس ویڈیو وی ہیڈ اے لک ایٹ ویلیوز اینڈ ڈسٹنکٹ اینڈ سو وٹ از دا سٹل ڈفرینس بٹوین دیز ٹو سو ناؤ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ہیو اے لک ایٹ دا آل ڈیکس فنکشن We have already covered all as part of the calculate modifier, but remember at the point where we were discussing about all, I mentioned that the difference between all and remove filters is that all is also a table function. So now we are primarily going to look at the function of all in the context of being a table function. So here again, I'm on the dax.guide website and let's have a look at the definition of the all function. So it says that it returns all the rows in a table or all the values in a column, ignoring any filters that might have been applied. So this is something the the filter ignoring part. We have we have already seen this as part of the calculate modifier uh, thing. And we had a detailed look at how we can use all. And this is a very important property of the all function. So now let's go back to the Power BI desktop environment. and have look at the examples of the all function so here i have created another table by the name table all column and here i have used the all dax function and i have passed the same product brand column and you can see that the result is very much similar to the result that we saw for the values and for the discount that dax functions but the difference here is that for this table the filter context has been removed so that is a very important thing that you need to understand and we have covered the the removal of the filter context or adding of the filter context in a lot of detail just remember that this property of the all function allows it to be used in a lot of scenarios where values and distinct will not work so you imagine you are you are working trying to work out a formula where you want that the filter context should should not be applied or the filter should be ignored on this particular column or table uh, where you are uh, making a comparison or where you are uh, calculating some kind of a percentage or a ratio then this is a very good example of the of that particular scenario so remember this uh, this difference however you can see that the result otherwise in terms of the the unique values which have been returned it is the same as we saw for the distinct and values similarly i have created another table uh, table which has the name table all table and here i have used the all function and passed the name of the products table so you can see that the result is exactly the same that we saw for distinct and values but again the very important property of all that it ignores the filters on this particular table so if you are using it then you have this property in place so we have already uh, again covered this part once we were using it inside the calculate and using it as a calculate modifier but again, in addition to being a call calculate modifier this is also a table function something which which is not if you use the remove filter so remove filter is just a calculate modifier used inside of calculate but all is a modifier as well as a table function so uh, i'm going to discuss the rest of the functions in the next part of this video so i'll catch up with you in the next part